In question 26a part 1, where asked apart from cost to state one major advantage using LEDs can have on the environment. Well, with LEDs less energy is needed for the same amount of light, so less carbon dioxide will be released. In part 2, we're told an LED emits photons of a specific wavelength. The intensity is now doubled, where to explain the effect on the energy of a photon. Well, this has no effect on the energy of a photon. The energy of a photon depends only on wavelength. There will simply be twice as many photons, each with the original energy. In part B, we have the apparatus firing electrons through a thin slice of graphite and emerging to produce concentric rings. We are asked to explain how the experiment demonstrates the wave nature of electrons. Well, the electrons being diffracted as they pass through the gaps between the atoms and they're interfering. Both of these are wave effects. In part two, we're told the beam of electrons is produced by accelerating them through a potential difference of 1200 volts. So PD is 1200 volts. Where to show that the de Broglie wavelength is 3.5 times 10 to the minus 11 meters. Well, the electrical energy, the charge on the electron E times the potential difference V, becomes kinetic energy mv squared over 2, making sure we have a big V for the potential difference, a small V for the speed. So, we can find the speed as being the square root of 2EV over M, and the de Broglie wavelength is the Planck constant over the momentum, which is Planck constant over mv, which is h over m times root 2eV over m. If we then put in the values, that is 6.63 times 10 to the minus 34, over 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31 for the mass of the electron times the square root of 2 times charge on the electron 1.60 times 10 to the minus 19 times the potential difference of 1200 need to extend my square root there over the mass of the electron, 9.11 times 10 to the minus 31. This all comes out at 3.54 times 10 to the minus 11 metres, as required. In part 3, we're told when de Broglie first put forward his idea, it was new, and where to describe one way in which the scientific community could validate his ideas. Well, if he publishes his results, this allows peer review, and if his procedure is shared, other scientists can then attempt to replicate his findings.